and welcome your next comet to stage. Give it up for Ian Gregson. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. I am indeed Ian. As you may have noticed as I came up to stage, I walked with a bit of a limp. There's a reason for that. I have five toes, one ankle, and one knee. Now, if you've got a problem with that, you may well be lactose intolerant. <laughs> it's gonna be puns. It's gonna be puns. Now, you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. I mean, after all, I came into this world with four healthy limbs. Well, one day while I was in high school, some kids came up to me and they said, Hey, Ian, we're going to do something stupid. We're going to go out and try and jump on this train. And I said, Hell yeah, I'm indestructible. I, I'm the school cross-country champion. I can do anything. And sure enough, off I went. Two kids got on the train. And there I was, failed at the first hurdle, and here I am. Three limbs, one foot in the grave. <laughs> it's the puns, it's the puns. The puns are going to kill you. So I came to Canada, uh, I competed in the Paralympics in, in the 80s. Uh, yeah, raising the flag, flying the flag for Canada, getting laid with the flag. For some reason, women in foreign countries like red and white and uh, maple leaf. I don't know why, why that is. Uh, but that all came to an end. Uh, I met my first wife. Uh, turns out she was a coke dealer. Who knew? I didn't. My parents always said, hey, Ian, you know, I need you to get involved with somebody with substance. I don't think that was what they meant. Anyway, uh, we were married for 15 years, uh, and the next logical step when you're married to a woman who sold coke was get involved in BC politics. <laughs> and if you've met a few politicians, you'll know what I'm talking about. So uh, I got involved with the Green Party, ran in a couple of provincial elections. Uh, they didn't like me because I didn't smoke enough weed. <laughs> then I got involved with a group called the Work Less Party. Uh, then I, had, I found I had too much time on my hands. But all through this, all through the marriages and the politics, I had one activity that really kept me kind of involved. I used to ride my bike when I, before I lost my leg and afterwards. And uh, so cycling's always been that thing for me, where I go, it's my happy place. But I've done a few stupid things on the bike too, so there's a list. And uh, one of the things I did one time was uh, get involved in the, uh, I took part in the World Naked Bike Ride. You may have heard of it. <laughs> now, the World Naked Bike Ride was started right here in Vancouver. Now, the first time I did it, it was the middle of June. And of course, middle of June in Vancouver, pissing down with rain and it's 10 degrees. I thought, I can do this, I'm indestructible. So off I went, halfway through the ride, riding through downtown, I swear I'm getting hypothermia. I can't feel my hands, I can't feel my five toes. So I pull over to the side of the road. And I'm trying to get my clothes back on because, you know, it's, it's, but it's a struggle because I, I can't feel my hands. A woman came up to me and she says, excuse me, sir, do you realize you're naked at the side of the road? I said, well, I am. I'm just hanging out. <laughs> So the good thing about riding your bike naked, when you go to Tim Hortons, you have an extra place to put your donuts. <laughs> it's true, it is very true. And one thing I want to leave you with is uh, you wear your sunglasses when you're riding your bike. So how would you, and I know some of you want to take part in the World Naked bike, bike right now, because now you know about it. How do you clean your sunglasses? Like me, very genitally. Oh, no. Thank you for being a great audience. My name is Ian. Adios. <laughs>